Boma. And good morning, I'm Tracy Boma. We'd like to welcome everyone tuning in online and inside the sanctuary at Faith Ministries Church today. Thanks for worshiping with us. Of course, um, we do have quite a few announcements today, so let's go on and get right to it. All right, great. The 2022 financial statements are coming. We have begun sending out the financial statements of our members and friends by U.S. mail for your contributions in 2022. We thank you for your giving and we are asking for your continued patience. $1 to $3 a day for missions during Lent. The Lenten season begins this year on Ash Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023. Lent is 40 days before Resurrection Sunday and has been a time when believers in Christ have made sacrifices to acknowledge and appreciate the ultimate sacrifice made by Christ for us. We are asking all of our members and friends to give an offering of $1 to $3 per day during this time and bring it or send it to the church or on or before Resurrection Sunday, April 9th. The proceeds will go to support our international missions. The offering can be given through our regular giving platforms or through special envelopes, which will be made available later this month. Welcome to the Youth Music Ministry. Come sing with us. The Faith Ministries Church Music Ministry welcomes any middle or high school student who loves to sing or play an instrument to join the youth praise team and sing on the fourth Sundays of each month. Come join us for rehearsal this Saturday, February 25th at 12.30 p.m. on the stage. Please contact Reverend Salon Wise if you have any questions. We hope to see you there. Scouting Ministry. The scouting units of Faith Ministries Church will begin weekly face-to-face -face meetings at the church starting Saturday, February 25th, 2023. Unit leaders will determine the frequency of their meetings. A full Boy Scouts of America uniform is expected at all BSA activities. Please contact Brother William Matthews for uniform assistance and more information on how to participate at 614-306-86814 or wvmatthews at yahoo.com. Again, please contact Brother William Matthews for uniform assistance and more information on how to participate at 614-306-6814 or wvmatthews at yahoo.com. The Women's Book Club continues. Congratulations to the Women's Ministry Book Club. The book club attendees held its first discussion of Michelle Obama's book, The Light We Carry. It was a great conversation and will continue on Sunday, February 26th at 6 p.m with discussing part two of the same book. Registration is still open to take part. The next scholarship workshop. Congratulations to the scholarship ministry for hosting its first workshop of the year for the miniseries, What's Next? It was packed full of great information. Thank you to all of the volunteers, present, presenters, and attendees. Please mark your calendars for Sunday, February 26th, for the next discussion, Show Me the Money, where they will cover 529 plans, scholarships, and other financial options, followed by a question and answer session. Black History Month Task Force to Meet. The response to Dr. Weiss's call last week for people interested in helping to share and show black history to youth in our church and community was tremendous. Therefore, we will be forming a Black History Task Force to develop a plan for what and how we do next towards this and here at Faith. The, the first meeting will be online Monday, February 27, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. You can find the Zoom link in our weekly church newsletter. Faith Outreach Team Update Dream Big. Distribution of Dream Big Packets for students grades K through five middle school and high school will be distributed in the church lobby following 10 a.m. services on third and fourth Sundays. Black History Month. In recognition of African American History Month, the Faith Outreach team have prepared an African American literature based discover resource station for the Sunday celebration students and their friends in the children's wing. 
parents are encouraged to check out similar resources at their neighborhood libraries or on Amazon. All together on First Sundays, technology has made it possible for our members and friends to worship with us every Sunday live, in person, and online. As a result, we are able to reach more people in different places and ways. However, it also means that there are many members who we never see. Therefore, in an effort to bring us together for a unified con congregational experience, we are asking all ABLE members to join us for worship in person on the first Sunday of each month. This way we can be together, have communion, and get to see our church family. Prayerfully, we will see the majority of our members at service this morning. We hope to see you the first Sunday in March. Well, that's all the announcements we have for now. Well, God bless you and have a great service. Yep. Question. Why are you here and what did you come to do? This is not a question about the biological background which gave rise to your birth. This is not a biographical question about the roots, the branches, and the leaves on your ancestral tree. This is not an existential question about the specific purpose that you were put on this planet. This is not a philosophical question about the meaning of life. This is a simple question. This is a practical question. This is a straightforward question. Why are you here in this building today? Why are you in that seat today? Why are you on this website today? Why are you watching this worship today? And what did you come to do? Do you even know? Do you think you're here by accident? I don't think so. Do you think you're here by coincidence? I don't think so. Do you think you're here by kismet, by luck or fate? I don't think so. You are here because God knows that here today, there's a life-changing word for you. Here today, there's a clear way out for you. Here today, there's a heavy weight about to be lifted from you. Here today, there's a brand new world getting ready to open up for you. Here today, there's an awesome worship experience ahead of you. Listen, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise his name. Is it just me, or is there anybody else here who came to praise the Lord? If that's you, and if you're able, stand up on your feet, Faith Ministries, and let's do what we came to do. If you came to praise Him, let's go ahead and praise Him. If you came to worship Him, let's go ahead and worship Him. If you came to bless Him, let's go ahead and bless Him. If you came to holler, go ahead and holler. If you came to dance, go ahead right now and cut your step. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name together. This is the day the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice. We will rejoice. I said we will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. God been good to anybody here besides me today. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for he is worthy to be praised. Dr. Shirley Wise is a little bit under the weather today, so we ask your prayers for her as we continue to worship the Lord. This is a beautiful day that God has made, and every time you wake up and you open your eyes and you can see something, it's a beautiful day. And I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. I came to praise his name. We're blessed today. Uh, Reverend Cassandra is going to come and lead us in a word of prayer. I want you to just get your hearts ready. Get your minds ready. Whatever you brought in here that's excess, drop it. What, whatever you brought in here that's over the edge you don't need, that's going to hinder you from worship, put it down. And let's take some time this morning, these few minutes that we are together, to give God all we got as we worship and praise his name. Come on, preacher, and lift up the name of the Lord. Good morning. How are you all this morning? We give God all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. We are celebrating Black History Month, and that's a good thing. We celebrate American Heart Association. That's a, but isn't it a wonderful thing to celebrate the Lord, our God, our Creator, the one who loves us, who made us? Hallelujah. Let's pray. God, I thank you. 
for this beautiful day, for the opportunity to be here. You woke us up this morning. You strengthened us. You kept us in our right mind. Lord, you gave us the activities of our limb and you allowed us to make our way to the house of the Lord. Some of us, we woke up and we turned on the television, the radio, and decided we're gonna worship online, and that's okay too. We're here to worship you today, God, and give your name the praise, the glory, and all the honor. So God, we ask for your grace, your mercy. Uphold those who are not feeling well, those who are sick, those who are suffering, Lord, under the burden of grief and loss. And God, I pray you give strength to those who desire to make their way out here. Be with them as they travel, God. Keep them in your safety, under your umbrella, Lord, under the shadow, your shadow, God. And then, Lord, for those of us who are here, allow us to be free in our worship to celebrate you. Bless our children today, God, in the ministry that's going to go forth with them. Bless our music ministry. And God, bless the man who's going to deliver us the word, God. I thank you for what you've already done. I thank you for the messages and how you've tied them together. I thank you for the learning. And I can't wait to see what you're going to tell us today, God. I'm excited about this day. We bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. We bless your name, Lord God. Somebody give God a hand praise. Come on, give him a hand praise. Lord, we bless you. We thank you, Lord, and we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor because you are an awesome God. Can somebody say awesome God? Can somebody say glory to God? Bless your name, Father. Come on, put your hands together. It's time to give him honor, give him praise. Bless you, Lord.
people praise Him, rejoice in all His goodness, and be thankful for what He has done. Tell the generation, from the mountain to the valley, by His Spirit the victory is won. Let the people praise Him. Let the people praise Him. Rejoice in all His goodness and be thankful for all He has done. Tell the generation, Tell the generation from the mountain, from the mountain to the valley, by His Spirit the victory is won. Come to lift up your name and give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, we bless your name today. Yeah. We come to lift our hands and give him glory. We come to lift our hands and give him praise. Help me sing. We come to lift our hands and give him praise. We come to lift our hands and give Him praise. Give Him glory. Give Him glory. Give Him glory. We come to lift our hands and give Him praise. Give Him glory. Give Him glory. We we come to lift our hands and give Him praise. Hallelujah. Oh. Clap our hands and send up Judah. We come to clap our hands and give a praise. Help me sing it, y'all. We come to clap our hands and send up Judah. We've come, we've come. We come to clap our hands and give him praise. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. glory. We come to clap our hands and give him praise. Do our dance and give a praise. Help me sing it, y'all. We come to do our dance and magnify. We come, we come. We come to do our dance and give a praise. Give them glory, give them glory, give them glory. We come to do our dance and give a praise. Give them glory, give them glory, give them glory. We come to live life.
Lord. Did he wake you up this morning? Is he worthy of your praise? Hallelujah. Come on, clap those hands off. Come on. Hallelujah. I have the family of Blaze Patrick Bailey Jackson. These meet me at the altar. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's our privilege and joy to be able to present another young man who's so happy. I don't know what he's happy about. He is so happy. I wish you could see this. Amen. Blaze Patrick Bailey Jackson. He got all them names, and he going to live up to every last one of them. As you stand today, we want you to know that babies are not our possessions. They're not our property. They're gifts to us from God. And if we got good sense, we do what we're doing now, and that is present them back to God because only he can help us raise them and handle them. In a world like this, we need God in our lives. So we're going to ask God to bless him and you as you stand today. God, we thank you for this beautiful baby boy. We ask you to bless him. We ask you to keep him. We ask you to shelter, guide God, and protect him. We thank you for this family that stands here with him, and we pray that their standing might not just be for now, but throughout his life. We ask that he might never want for anything, food, clothing, shelter, family, friends, or love. We might always have the best of everything, including you in his life. In Jesus' name we pray, and for his sake, amen. Here's your certificate, and I have a blanket here for you from the women of faith, so he'll always be covered in faith. God bless you. Let's praise the Lord one more time. Or blaze. He just a smiling. <laughs> Praise God. Well, the babies are being presented for the first time on dedication. We need to pray for our children all the time, every day, every day every single day God is good as we prepare to receive our tithes and offerings today I want to share just a few announcements with you we have several families that we'd like for you to pray with and for as they go through this time of bereavement uh, sister Tarina Arnold's father passed and his home going is going to be this coming Friday uh, the 24th from 10 to 11 the wake and the funeral from 11 to 12. Then on the next day, the mother of Sister Carol King will be having her home going here at the church. That's from 9 to 10 and 10 to 11. And then on the following Wednesday, Sister Loretta Trust, one of our charter members, our ushers, our faithful members for so many years, she passed. Her home going is going to be on March the 1st. So let's pray for all of these families that we know of.
that are going through bereavement and let's support them in the ways that we can. This coming weekend uh, is going to be a very busy weekend. We have these several home goings that we have. In addition to that, we have the scouting. We'll have their meeting at 12 on Saturday. Then our praise team will be rehearsing at 1230. And then at uh, 2 o'clock on this coming Saturday, the 25th, we'll have our Zoom meeting for persons who want to help us with our International Fellowship of Faith Ministries. And then on Sunday, we've got the book club for the women, scholarship for the men. Today, we've got Dream Big for our youth, our elementary and high school, middle and high school students. Our Dream Big ministry has packets for them. Please make sure you get them. And then on next coming Monday, we have a Zoom for everyone who wants to help us develop a consistent year-round black history program here and from our church. So as I say, we got a lot of stuff going on, and that's just this weekend. We haven't gone past this weekend. What I'd like to do is I have some, some envelopes here. Lou, would you bring me those baskets, please? Have some envelopes for our Lenten season. And as you know, Lent is the period of 40 days before Easter. And uh, on uh, Resurrection Sunday, Easter, as you know, uh, Jesus ra was raised from the dead. But before that, he was crucified on the cross. And traditionally in the Christian world, we use these 40 days to celebrate his sacrifice and to make a sacrifice of our own. Uh, during this time, people give up things, you know, they give up meat, they give up this, that, and the other. Uh, but uh, it is a time of reflection because uh, it's not enough for us just to thank God that he died. What kind of sacrifices are we going to make in that regard? So we have some Lenten offering envelopes here. Back in the day, you will remember that during Lenten season, you got a little tri-folder or folder, and uh, you put a dime in it every day amen you put a dime in it every day and that was maybe 40 dimes and so you'd run around bar dimes and stuff so you could fill up your well that was a hundred years ago <laughs> amen and inflation yeah inflation <laughs> inflation done hit so the dime ain't gonna work so what what we want you to do is we want everybody to consecrate at least one dollar a day one dollar a day during this period that means that's forty dollars during that Lenten period a dollar a day or two dollars a day that's eighty dollars or three dollars a day that's a hundred and twenty dollars and what I want you to do is I want you to put that offering in this envelope and then bring it on Easter Sunday then we're going to receive that and the monies that you bring will go to our mission and our outreach. And so uh, please do that. Uh, you, the ushers will have them as you leave the sanctuary. You can get your offering envelope and give accordingly. Our Father now God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this privilege. We thank you for this opportunity to bless these people, your people, who have brought themselves first and now they bring their offerings. We pray for these envelopes, these Lenten envelopes, that as people take the envelopes, that it might not be just giving an offering, but giving themselves, make a sacrifice along with it as a sign of our appreciation and gratitude for all that you've done in our lives. God, we ask that whatever they pour in to these envelopes might be returned to them, some 30, some 60, some 100 fold, not only in material things, but in spiritual things and in joy of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray and for his sake, amen. All right, uh, don't forget to give as you leave the sanctuary. Those of you who are watching online, there are various ways that you can give. Please take advantage of one of them and uh, sow into this ministry, even as this ministry is sowing into you. Our young people are um, being dismissed now. You can be dismissed. Uh, Brother Scott and his team is available now for our youth, so you can go and we can continue.
job of uh, sometimes just glossing over and glazing over the truth and putting on a good front, you know, putting on a good face. You know, when somebody asks you, how are you doing? You say, oh yeah, I'm good, I'm good. But a lot of times that response is covering up a reality and a truth that there are areas in our lives that are broken. There are areas in our lives that need healing, areas in our lives that need to be fixed. And sometimes that's a physical thing, sometimes that's a, uh, a mental health situation, and sometimes it's just a spiritual healing that we need. And while there are doctors to treat uh, mental and physical health issues, I don't know of any doctors that can treat a soul issue, but there is a healer. There is a healer. And we want to let you know that if you find yourself in a situation where you're just soul sick, you're, you're just, it's not mental, it's not physical, it's just, you know, it's a spiritual issue. We want you to be encouraged and we want you to hear this message that we have for you.
once again, there's healing for your sorrow. The 
happen And now I know He touched And made me whole He touched That floods me She tried everything she could to get healed, but nothing helped. In fact, she got worse. But she said in herself, if I could just touch the hem of his gum, I know I will be whole. So basically, she decided to touch him. She had sense enough to touch him. But some of us didn't have sense enough to touch him. But he had grace enough to touch us. He touched me. He touched me. I wasn't trying to touch him. I wasn't trying to be in the neighborhood. I wasn't trying to get saved. I wasn't trying to do right. But he touched me and when he touched me I can't describe the joy that flooded my soul I don't know what it was I don't know what I felt but something something happened and now I know that was him that touched me. And he made me whole. Somebody praise the Lord today for him touching you. Changing your life. That's an oldie but goodie. That's what that is. is it? Oldie but goodie. Praise the Lord. We give glory, honor, and praise to God today because he is worthy to be praised the rising of the sun to the going down of the same our God is worthy to be praised we give glory on and praise to him to Dr. Shirley Wise in her absence to all of our preachers our ministers our members our guests those of you who are joining us online live and on tape glad to be in the service Glad to be in the service. One more time. Didn't have to let me live. Didn't have to let me live. But I'm glad to be in the service. One more time. Turn with me to John chapter 9. John chapter 9 verses 1 through 3. When you get a chance, read the whole chapter. I'm sure you have before, but do it again. John chapter 9, 1 through 3. Will you please stand once you've found it? We're going to read verses 1 through 3 in the King James Version. Can we read together? And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind. Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned nor his parents, 
but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. God bless you. you may be seen. Our Father, now God, if you will, let the words of my mouth and even the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, for you are my strength and my redeemer. And all the people of the Lord say amen. Jesus answered, neither had this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. You pray with me and help me for a little while this morning. I'd like to use these words for a subject. It's glory time. It's glory time. They say that timing is everything. That certainly is true. Because many things in life have their own time. But not only do they have their own time, if they don't happen at a certain specific time, they will not happen at all and they will not be successful when they do. Timing is everything. If the woman on the flying trapeze doesn't come out of her somersault at the right time, then the man on the other end won't catch her. She'll hit the floor or worse. If the quarterback doesn't throw the pass at the right time, it could be the difference between a touchdown and an interception. If you don't take the turkey out the oven <laughs> at the right time, it could be undone, it could be too dry, or it could be burned up. Timing is everything. And as it is in life, so it is with the Lord. Timing is everything. It's almost as if God has implanted a clock inside of things and set them at an alarm so they come on and kick in at the right time. Because the sun rises at morning time, the moon shines at nighttime, flowers bloom at springtime, leaves fade in the autumn time, corn matures at harvest time, and deliverance comes at glory time. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. deliverance comes neighbor. at glory time. Well, wait a minute. I know what morning time is. I know what spring time is. I know what night time is. I know what harvest time is. I know what... Order, but what time is glory time? Glory time is when eternity and history overlap. Glory time is when the impossible becomes simply possible. <laughs> Glory time is when the undoable is easily done. Glory time is when the truth finally comes out. Glory time is when the victimized becomes vindicated. Glory time is when God gets the most glory. Glory time is the time of deliverance. If you're like me, if you're like me, you wonder why God seems to wait till the last minute to do stuff. I mean, I don't, I don't mean no harm. I'm not trying, trying to be irreverent or disrespectful, but it seems to me that God waits till the last minute to do stuff. Amen. He waited until Israel was already at the Red Sea before he delivered them. He waited until Job had lost everything before he restored it. He waited until Jonah was already in the well before he saved him. He waited until Lazarus had been dead and buried for three days before he showed up 
to raise him. Maybe it's just me and there's something wrong with me, but it seems like God just waits till the last minute to do stuff. Amen. Why is that? Well, there's a simple answer. and That is timing is everything. And he's waiting on glory time. What is glory time? Glory time is when you see the manifestation of an invisible God. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, glory time, glory time is when you see the manifestation of an invisible God. Now, we all know that God is invisible and you can't see God, but, but glory time is when you get to see that invisible God in time and space. When, when you see the manifestation of God in people, places, and things. And every now and then, God will show up in front of you, and you'll see that invisible God in time and space. And that's what happened here in this text. You know, Jesus was passing by. He was passing by, and he, he saw a blind man. And the blind man was sitting by the way, and his disciples made a lesson out of him and said, Now, Jesus, Je what, what happened to this man? What what happened to him that he was born blind? Did his parents mess up or, or did he sin inside his mother's womb? That's a hard concept, but that's what they asked. Who did sin, the man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus said, neither did his mama sin or his daddy sin, but this man was born blind that one day I might walk by this road and, and heal him and make it glory time. He was born so that God could get the glory. And every now and then you see the manifestation of the glory of God. You see it in the sunrise and the sunset. You see it in a rainbow after a storm. You see it in the clear waters of a Caribbean beach. You see it when you look out and hear the thunder and see the lightning. And, and you see it when you just lay on your back and look up in the sky of a clear summer night and see all the constellations you see the glory of God but you know the other day the other day when the James Webb Space Telescope sent back those pictures from outer outer space that there, there was a time when we saw outer space in black and white but they sent back color 3D pictures of outer space and those pictures were so mind-blowing that even astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson he had to shout and you know when you make an astrophysicist shout you must have seen the manifestation of God he said, oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars. I see the, the power throughout the universe display. And then he said, then sings my soul, my Savior, God to thee. When I see your manifestation, I've got to say how great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior, God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When you see the manifestation of an invisible God, that's glory time. And then when you realize the valuation of an inestimable God, that's glory time. In other words, when you finally realize how much God is worth, that's glory time. When it comes to your mind, when it comes to your assessment, how valuable God is, that moment right there becomes glory time. When you cannot put a price on God. You cannot put a value on how valuable God is. The best you can do is take something of value and say God is worth more than that. Just pick anything. Pick anything that has value and I promise you that God is worth more than that. That's why every first Sunday when I call the young people down to the altar, I ask them who they are and they say, we're little children of God. And I say, what does that mean? They say that God is our father and Jesus is our brother then I ask him how much are you worth 
And they say we're worth more than all the oil in Nigeria. And when you come to God, you can't say how much God is worth. You just got to say what he's worth more than. He's worth more than all the, the tea in China. He's worth more than all the oil in Nigeria. He's worth more than all the titanium in Russia. He's worth more than all the diamonds in Congo. He's worth more than all the pearls in the Pacific. He's worth more than all the vibranium in Wakanda. He's worth more than all the gold in Fort Knox. He's worth more than life itself. When you think about how much God is worth, that's glory to I wish I had somebody here today that would just take a minute to pause and think about how much God is worth. How much he is. He's Alpha and Omega. He's Adonai. He's Almighty. He's Lord. He's God. How much he's worth. That how much he's done. He woke you up this morning. He started you on your way. He put running in your feet and clapping in your hand. How much he's worth and then how much he can do. Is anybody glad about what the Lord can do? It may not have happened yet, but God can do it. God can fix it. God can change it. God can turn it around. Glory time. When you, the moment you realize how valuable God is, that's glory time. And, and I, I'm sorry, it may happen to you in the strangest place. You may not be sitting inside the sanctuary of Faith Ministries Church when it hits you. You might be standing in line at Kroger's. You might be on the bus stop. You might be at a red light at Morse and Sunbury. But when the glory of God hits you and you realize what a mighty God we serve. Right there in your car, right there in the line, it's glory time. Glory time is when you see manifestation of an invisible God. It's when you get the valuation, you realize the valuation of an inestimable God. And then glory time is when you feel the saturation of an omnipresent God. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, glory time is when you feel the saturation of an omnipresent God. Now, if something is omnipresent, that means it's everywhere. But it's possible for something to be everywhere but you don't see it or feel it all the time. I said it can be everywhere, but you don't see it or feel it all the time. Okay, so air is everywhere. You leave here and you're going to go out, there's going to be air out there. You go home in your house, there's going to be air there. And if it don't be air, you're going to know it because you won't be able to breathe. Air is everywhere. But you don't feel it until it gets stirred up. See, the difference between air and wind is just wind is air in motion. The difference between God and the Holy Ghost God is omnipresent and the Holy Ghost is God stirred up in motion. So, 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 so you can have something that's everywhere, but you can't sense it. Water right now is some water in this air. But, but you don't sense it until it gets condensed, until it gets concentrated, until the air gets saturated. And when the air gets saturated, the little droplets in the air got to come out of hiding and they become dew or rain. 
they were always there but they weren't saturated they weren't concentrated they weren't condensed and the glory of God is when the omnipresence of God gets saturated God's been here all the time but suddenly there's so much God in the room that you can feel the presence of God when Moses finished the tabernacle the Bible says that the cloud of the presence of God descended on the tabernacle and the glory of God filled the tabernacle so much that Moses couldn't even go inside and preach because it was saturated they tell me they tell me that when Isaiah was in the temple he said in the year that King Uzziah died I saw also the Lord I was sitting in the temple and I saw him high and lifted up and his train filled the temple and there were some seraphim that had six rings two to cover their face and two to cover their feet and two to fly away and here's what they said they said holy 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 Lord God of hosts the whole earth is filled with their glory and then in Acts chapter 2 when they the disciples were in the upper room they were on one accord and the Bible says suddenly there was a sound from heaven and it filled the house where they were sitting and clothing tongues of fire set upon their head and it filled them and they began to speak as God gave them utterance I'm trying to tell you that every now and then you got just regular ordinary omnipresence but every now and then God will get stirred up God will start moving and the glory of God will fill a place have you ever been in a church service or somewhere where the Lord saturated the place I said have you ever been in a place where the glory of the Lord showed up have you ever been in a place where you couldn't do nothing but just suck in the glory of God I sit here sometimes on a Sunday morning in my little seat and I know according to the program it's time for me to preach it's preaching time but Sherry and Bonnie and them be singing a song and the glory of the Lord descends and it starts ricocheting off the walls folks start shouting people start running and I stay in my seat because it ain't preaching time right now it's glory time oh it's glory time it's time to soak in the presence of God it's time to receive the glory of God it's glory time Glory time is when you see manifestation of an invisible God. Glory time is when you realize the valuation of an inestimable God. Glory time is when you feel the saturation of the omnipresent God. Then glory time is when you build the reputation of an invincible God. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, glory time is when you build the reputation of an invincible God. See, glory time is when God outgods himself. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean? It's like when God does something and then he does something else that makes what he just did look like nothing. And God outguards himself. God, God has a way of doing that. He has a way of blowing your mind. When he getting ready to do something awesome, that's glory time. When he's getting ready to let people know just how much God he is. That's glory time. Y'all know, y'all know I, I'm a James Bond fan. You know that, right? 
I was really hurt when the man got killed in the last movie. I was really, they gonna bring him back, you know they are. So. They gonna do a time reverse thing or something like that. They gonna bring it back, too much money. But anyway, I'm a James Bond 007 man. And every time James Bond get ready to do some James Bond stuff, 007 magic, his music comes on. Dum 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 That's how you know he about to do something Cause the music First it start real soft Then start building In his last movie No Time to Die He was in his car he was riding through the city, being chased by the bad guys, you know. And uh, he gets into the town square, goes over the bridge, and then in the tunnel, and all through the streets, and he finally gets trapped in a roundabout in the downtown square. Right, right. He's in his Aston Martin, all the bad guys surrounding him with guns. Mm -hmm. His girl's in the seat. <laughs> you got to have a girl in the seat, okay? That just goes with it. You gotta have a girl in the seat. So his girl's in the seat. They shooting bullets at his car. And she turns around, James. What are we going to do? And then dun 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 machine guns come out his headlights. He steps on the gas and spins around and shoots all the bad guys with machine guns come out of his headlights. Then he drives off downtown in a cloud of smoke. Dun, 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 dun. That's how it is with God. God waits till the last minute. When it seems like you, everything is over and then his glory time. He said, Moses, I'm going to let Pharaoh know who I am. I'm going to let him know that I am the great I am. And so Israel leaves Egypt. Wait for it. Wait for it. They're going down the street and, and Pharaoh decides to follow them. Wait for it. Wait for it. They get out there in front of the Red Sea and the sea is behind them, in front of them. And Pharaoh is behind them. Wait for it. Wait, wait for it. They start murmuring and mumbling. Oh, oh, Moses, why didn't you leave us alone in Egypt? We would have been better alive in Egypt than dead out here in the wilderness. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now here comes Pharaoh. He's so close to them, they can see the whites of his eyes. Wait for it. And then... God opens the Red Sea and they cross on dry land. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are standing in front of Pharaoh. And first they're there. Wait for it. Pharaoh, Nebuchadnezzar tells them to bow and they don't bow. Wait for it. He binds them up and ties them up. Wait for it. Wait for it. He throws them in the fiery furnace. Wait for it. The people who threw them in got burned up. Wait, 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 wait for it. And then when they hit the bottom of the fiery furnace, here comes Jesus, the Son of God. Dun, 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 Jesus is standing there. They arrest him in the garden. Wait for him. They, they lie on him. Wait for him. They beat him almost to death. Wait for it. They give him a trial in a kangaroo court. Wait for it. They nail him in his hands and in his feet. They pierce him in his side. Wait for it. They bury him in a borrowed tomb. And then, somebody say there. And then... Dum 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 early, early, early on Sunday morning he gets up with all power in his hands. It's glory time. It's glory time. 
wait a minute, wait a minute. God don't need no James Bond music. He got his own music. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Does anybody know about his glory? Does anybody know about his glory? Well, give him some glory because it's glory time. Come on, it's glory time. It's time to glorify him. It's time to praise him. It's time to acknowledge him. It's time to exalt him. God about to do something to out God himself. It's glory time. What you need is God to do something he ain't never done before. And when he does it, it'll be glory time. That's what he's waiting on. He's waiting on the last minute. So that when he does it, everybody got to say, couldn't nobody do that but God. Glory time. What is taking God so long? He just laying back. <laughs> taking his time. Because if he does it too soon, you're going to steal the glory. <laughs> if he makes it too easy, somebody else going to say, well, that was going to happen anyway. But he waits until nobody but God can do it. And then when he does it, it's glory time. Sun comes up. Morning time. Moon shines at night time. Flowers blossom. Spring time. Leaves fade at autumn time. Corn matures. Harvest time, but deliverance comes at glory time. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Our Father and our God, we come today because we apologize in so many ways. We've been trying to steal your glory. We've been acting like we are here because of us. We're acting like we have this because we're so smart because of who we know when the fact of the matter is, you did it. So God, we're going to give you the glory today. We're not going to rob you of your glory. We're not going to steal your glory. We're just going to give it back to you. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. All that you have done, for all that you are, for all you planning on doing in our lives. God, we live for your glory. We live to glorify you. And if we can do more, help us to do more. We can do more. Let people know what a mighty God we serve. Now, Father, if there's somebody here today that wants to glorify you by giving their life to you, by saying, I want to become a Christian. I want to join the church. Or I want to come down this aisle and say, I need to be baptized. I, I need to be saved. If that person is here today, Lord, let them come. Let them come. Don't let them be turned off by all the people here. Don't let them be worried about who's looking at them. Help them to know that when they realize what you did for them right now, it's glory time. It's, it's time for you to get the glory out of their lives. Somebody watching online, wherever they are, wherever they may be watching, whatever platform, whatever way they see me or hear me, and they hear the voice of the Lord. They know it's time, it's time for them to come on in, come on in. Bible says if if just one person comes in and accepts Christ, the whole angel, it's glory time in heaven because all the angels in heaven start shouting. Will you be that one? Will you be that one? Will you be that person that causes a shout to break out in heaven because you decided to give your life to the Lord? 
Our Father, now God, we thank you today. Thank you, thank you for people who are hearing your word, people who are making a decision right now to make this very moment glory time. When they give you the glory, when you get the glory, when heaven and earth merge, when eternity and history come together right in front of their eyes. In Jesus' name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Let's stand all over the church. Let's stand all over the church. If you're here today, my brother and my sister, come on, come on, come on. If you're in the sanctuary and you want to join the church, come today, come today. If you're in the sanctuary today and you never become a Christian and you want to be baptized. You want to be baptized. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. Who else? Who else? Who else? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Somebody else is here. I just don't know what you're waiting on. Come on. Come on. Online. Online. Make that commitment first to Christ and then let us know by going to faithministries.church forward slash connect faith ministries dot church forward slash connect I want to join the church I want to become a Christian I want prayer whatever your request is go there faith ministries dot church forward slash connect we'll get back with you because we want you to get some of this glory time for your glory I will do Just to see you, just to see you. To behold you as my king. I want to be. Lord, yeah. if I. Who's here? Who else? Who else? Who else? Somebody. Favor in your child. Somebody's thinking about it. Thinking about it. Don't just think about it. Do something about it. Come on. Come on. I'm desperately To be where you are, cross the hardest steps, cross the hardest travel near, travel near, oh, for, for your glory. I will do anything just to see just to Listen, there are some things that are going on in your life that only God can fix. Only God can fix. One of the reasons why God has taken so long is because when he fix it, he want to make sure that you give him the glory. When he fixes it, I want to make sure that nobody gets the credit but him. And you know what? You can start practicing now. You really, you can start practicing now. Somebody said, don't wait till the battle is over. Shout now. If we could be the kind of people and the kind of church that would give God the glory. He inhabits the praises of his people. And as we give him glory, he shows up. And when he shows up, things change. I want to pray for you today. I want you to pray. I want you to get in your mind that most difficult thing that's vexing you, that's perplexing you. And you can't do nothing about it. You just cannot do anything about it. I want you to give that to God right now. I want you to give it to him. 
Say, God, I'll wait till glory time. Our Father and our God, we offer to you our dreams, our hopes, our disappointments, our sorrows, our sadness, our grief. We give that to you right now. And we just ask you, in your own time, in your own way, fix it. When you do, like the old folks say, we will be so careful to give your name to praise. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, let all the people of the Lord say amen. 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 God bless you. you. may be seated. You got something for us, Reverend Lonzo? We have coming today for baptism, Shaniqua Crawford. And also her five children are in the back coming for baptism. Amen. Praise him. We're so glad to have you today. So glad to have you. Praise the Lord. Don't you let nobody fool you. You didn't mess up. You didn't make a mistake. You did the right thing. Amen. Amen. Reverend Lonzo going to tell you what to do next to get in membership and ministry as you go forth. One more time, let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord for our whole family. Come to the house of the Lord. Let's stand. We're ready to go. Ready to go. Don't forget all the many things that are going to be happening this week coming. Um, this coming Tuesday, Reverend Charmaine Martin's going to be doing our TNT on Tuesday night and uh, on the following Tuesday, yeah, the following Tuesday, we will introduce a new series called Spring Back to Better Than Before. Spring Back to Better Than Before. This, this whole period that we've been through recently has really stretched the life out of us. It's, we're just like rubber bands that lost its elasticity. So, what we're going to be asking God is to give us our spring back so we can come back to better than we were before. So, on the following Tuesday, we start the TNT. On the first Sunday in March, we start the preaching series, Spring Back. Now, next Sunday, is the fourth Sunday and uh, that's good uh, but the following Sunday is the first Sunday I said the following Sunday is the first Sunday and that's the Sunday when we want all of our members online to come in person I'm gonna say that again all of our members who are online to come in person so we can have communion and fellowship as one family at least once a month. I don't think that's too much to ask. That's a very simple thing. So y'all come. Next Sunday is fourth Sunday, but the next Sunday is the first Sunday in March, and we're looking for everybody to come and to be as one body in Christ. Don't forget envelopes. The ushers should have the envelopes. Ushers, do you have those Lenten envelopes? Please get one of those. It used to be a dime, now it's a dollar a day during the Lenten season. And we're going to use this money to help do missions around the world. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this worship experience, each song that's been sung, each prayer that's been prayed, and each word that's been preached. We ask that you dismiss us from this meeting, but never from your presence. And now, may the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, rest rule and abide with us all from henceforth and forevermore let all the people of the lord say amen amen amen, amen. 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 we are building a city amen. for christian service amen. we are ministers amen. for jesus christ let us leave this place and serve the lord this and every day god bless you